Hello, I am Girish Kishnani. And you are watching, 5-Minute Learnings. This is the sixth video in the series of Cognitive Biases. We shall focus on the false consensus effect in this video. According to social psychologists, the tendency to overestimate how much others agree with us is known as the false consensus effect. This is a kind of cognitive bias that leads people to believe their own values and ideas are normal and that the majority of people share these same opinions, even if that's not the case. If you are very concerned about the environment, for example, you will probably be more likely to overestimate the number of people who are also very concerned about environmental issues. The false consensus effect was first named and described in the late 1970s by researcher Lee Ross and his colleagues. In one of the experiments, the researchers asked the participants to choose among the conflicting options, and also guess which option public would probably choose, and describe the type of people who would choose each of the two options. The researchers discovered that no matter which of the options the participants selected, they believed that the majority of population will also select same option. The researchers also found people tended to give more extreme descriptions of the characteristics of people who would choose the option not selected by them. One of the causes of the false consensus effect is the availability heuristic. When we are trying to estimate how common or likely something is, we tend to look at the examples that come to our mind most readily. While determining whether other people share your beliefs, you'll probably think of people who are the most similar to you, like your family and friends, and it's very likely that they do share many things in common with you. Researchers suggest that there are three main causes the false consensus effect. Our family and friends, the people we interact with most, are more likely to be similar to us and share many of the same beliefs and behaviors. Feel good factor, we feel better and more respected believing that other people think and act like us. Our own attitudes and beliefs are most readily available to us, so we are more likely to notice when other people share similar attitudes. If we feel very strongly about something or consider it really important or feel very confident in our point of view, the degree of false consensus tends to be stronger, and we're more likely to assume others agree with us, for example, if you are 100% convinced that the new bill will reduce the amount of crime in your community, you are more likely to believe that the majority of other voters in your town will also support the passage of the law. Finally, we are more likely to experience the false consensus effect in cases where situational factors play a major role. For example, if you think the movie is terrible because of the poor sound quality, and assume that everyone else viewing the movie is having the similar experience and forming the same opinions, you might mistakenly believe all other viewers will agree the movie is terrible. That's all on the false consensus effect from my side. In the next video we shall learn about, the halo effect. Hope you found this video useful, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel, 5 Minute Learnings. And do remember to hit the bell icon, to get notified of the new videos, thanks for watching.